Made moves up through the field in the heat races. The defending three time looking for a fourth in a row. Matt Kinsman. Grid five, 36, Kyle Dawson. Grid number six, a man that said to me he looks forward to me interviewing him on the podium at the end of the final, the 66 of Caleb Cross. Grid number seven, the 75 of Corey Green, a driver that you cannot discount out of this. Right next to him, North Island champion Jacob Cranston, a.k.a. the Cranston Express. Behind them, the number 12, multi-South Island champion Chris Cox. Next to him, number six, Kieran Woods from Canterbury. Then we will go back to the 81 of Waddell. Next to him will be Higgins in the 38. Then the 90, further back, Thomas Emerson from Christchurch. The 47 of Cameron Hay from Canterbury. The 77, Sam Vanderbilt. 27, Alicia Morton. 21, Ben Carter. 97. 97, Jamie Smith. And the number five of Scott Glenn from Southland. Well, Richard, we've got to see now whether the 2NZ of Dan Kinsman can maintain this form. All the big guns now essentially moving forward for this pre-final. And Matt Kinsman's not far back there on grid four. Yeah, if you're on the live stream, don't go anywhere. I know we had uh, the record number in that last race, which, in my opinion, is one of the best watching those Vortex mini rocks. But this Rotax light class has so many national champions in it and so many people uh, who also... Uh, could potentially become a national champion for the first time. So it's all on for young and old in this pre-final for the year contracting Rotax Max Law class. You know, you look at the Kinsman family, they've got 11 sprint cart titles between them, those two brothers, let alone how many titles their dad Michael got, the grandfather as well. Just a, yet another of the dynasty families in kart sport. Yeah, it's, it's such an impressive number. Uh, I'd love to know the, the figures of... Uh, the entire Kinsman clan, very, very impressive. And, you know, it's it's challenging for people. I remember when I first started racing, the first people I ever raced against were the Kinsmans, and it's a third-generation uh, family of, of seriously competitive, um, world-class drivers. So it's challenging, but also at the same time, it's, it's lifted all of our drivers to such a high level. Not only that, but, it, but, you know, it's probably early days yet, but in a few years' time, there could be a fourth-generation kinsman come through, and who would bet against the fact that they would be a champion as well? It's just once you have that infrastructure in a family and all that knowledge, just makes things a little bit easier. Yeah, I'm sure they probably don't want to rush that at this stage. <laughs> Here we go. Pre-final action. Tim Yo roofing. 125cc Rotax Max lights out. Great start for Dan Kinsman up the inside. He will lead him across through turn number one, through into the infield for the first time. Number nine, Jared Cleghorn slots up into second place. Having a look now for third. Well, in fact, Drysdale's managed to sneak through for second. Cleghorn's gone back to third. Well, Drysdale, this is the class that Dan Bray said they were focusing on with the 11 of Drysdale. He's at the sharp end where he needs to be. Fourth place. The 36 of Dawson. And where is Matt Kinsman? Sitting back there in... Well, where is Matt Kinsman? He's dropped right back. Now fighting his way back through the inside at Southern Paints. Well, Matt Kinsman has gone back to, I think, ninth position from grid four to ninth. In fact, he was back as far as 10th. The nightmare opening starts for this 1NZ uh, still playing and coming into play. He's got to hope his luck turns around for the final. Dan Kinsman, Drysdale, then Cleghorn again showing that he has got pace as the top three are trying to stretch away. Well, it's catch up for Matt Kinsman. We keep talking about him, but he's a three time in a row New Zealand champion. He would love a fourth. I wouldn't bet against him yet. Never bet against a Kinsman, only bet for them. Dan out in front, head down. You can see the dedication there from him. 15 to go. 
Caleb Cross is the one who's moved up into the top four. Crossy was quietly confident earlier on. He said the conditions are starting to play into his hand. So far, so good for the 66 out of Christchurch. A former national champion. Behind him, the 36. The man that was our fastest qualifier yesterday, Kyle Dawson from Southland. Jacob Cranston starting to gather up momentum in fifth place as well. Sixth place there, Cranston, as he goes down the inside for Dawson for, thir uh, for fifth, makes a pass. The Cranston Express finally starting to come into form here in the pre-final as Dawson had another look up the inside at Southern Paints. Well, Dan Kinsman looks so strong out in front, he's just composed in the race seat. Not animated at all. Eyes on the prize here, the 2NZ. Matt Kinsman made the pass on Dawson. Dawson's close to him though as they run down the main straight. But Kinsman has fought his way back up into the top six. A good fight back here for Matt Kinsman. He knows he's got to be at least in the front two rows in the final or else they're going to get away from him. He knows how strong his brother is out in front. He can't afford to let him have a five or six cart gap off the start. Not if he wants to defend this title again. 12 to go. We're a third of the way through this pre-final. Brought to you by Tim Yo Roofing and Sevright, your blasting panel and paint specialists. They are your principal sponsor for the 2017 Nationals, alongside the Guild Trap Group on the live stream. Well, Kinsman now with maybe eight cart lengths over Drysdale. And it's Caleb Cross that's putting pressure on nine Cleghorn. Crossy trying to move forward. Takes a look back. He knows Cranston's there. There is five, six New Zealand champions running in the top seven. That is how good this field is right now. So they go single file through Southern Paints down to MKS infield. You can see this track's got a little bit of banking on it. It's a brilliant racetrack. I'd love to come here more often because this track throws up some fantastic racing. I love how wide it is, how open this track is. Ten to go. Crossy still hounding Cleghorn for third. Down the inside, makes a late move. Down into turn number one. Crossy gets third. Cleghorn goes back to six because coming through the North Island champion Cranston and also New Zealand champion Matt Kinsma up to top five. Cleghorn six, uh, 12 of Chris Cox. He's in behind Cleghorn. Look at Kinsman, head down, still charging out in front. Half race distance. Matt Kinsman now putting pressure on Cranston for fourth. Well, if he gets back to fourth, that's where he started on the grid. It's taken him half the race to get into a chance just to be back where he started. He dropped back to 10th at one stage. He's passed some big guns on his way through back up into the top five. And now he's starting to come in amongst the ex-national champions. Well, Dan Kinsman's away. Drysdale second, we've got eight to go. Cranston just gets up on the ripple strip there as they run down into the turn number one. And that's enough for Matt Kinsman to go through on the inside for fourth. Well, Matt Kinsman knew that he had a chance then because you can see that Cranston just put a wheel a little bit too far up on that ripple strip. It drops away. It's adverse camber off that, off that final turn. And it was enough just to take a little bit of pace away from Cranston and give the advantage to Matt Kinsman. Seven to go, Dan Kinsman, Drysdale, cross, head down. He knows that the national champion's coming. He's gonna bring along Cranston with him as well. Crossy needs to find another 10th. He doesn't have the pace to close on Drysdale. And he doesn't wanna to go too defensive just yet as well because there's too many laps left. Well, that card of Dan Kinsman sounds brilliant. Let's now look at Matt Kinsman to the inside. 
the New Zealand champion through for third place. The little hand signal, work with me guys. Crossy's gone back to fourth. Fifth place is Cranston. Three in a row, national champions these guys. What a drive, Matt Kinsman from 10th up to third in this quality field, five to go. Further back we go, Corey Green in the 75, holds out the six of Kieran Woods. They're still having a look up the inside. Even further back we go, 77, Sam Vanderbilt in front of the 90 of Thomas Emerson and the 97 of Jamie Smith. Cross the line there for the five of Scott Glenn from Southland. Four to go, Dan Kinsman. Jacob Cranston was fast off the final turn. Gets within striking distance of Caleb Cross. That's for fourth and fifth place. They run through Southern Paints infield to MKS. Well, Dan Kinsman is so confident and composed, he's not even looking around. He knows that he's uh, got a good gap over the rest of this field. He's just going to let them work out what's going to happen further back. He's not concerned about that right now. Drysdale's had a lonely race in second place pretty much all the way through. 77 of Sam Vanderbilt holding out Emerson. They were in a good uh, duking it out on this racetrack. As the laps tick on by for our Timio Roofing 125cc Rotax Max Lite. As the field fires through, the last lap board about to come out for Dan Kinsman. One lap to go for the 2NZ, the Sodi Kart New Zealand IKS race engines, International Kart Supplies Racer, dominating this pre-final. Caleb Cross still in that fourth place position, holding out the North Island champion. Round through the infield for the last time to the Macaulay Ford sweeper onto the back straight. Dan Kinsman keeps his hopes of an unbeaten performance today alive with a pre-final win over Drysdale, Matt Kinsman, Caleb Cross, Jacob Cranston and the nine of Jared Cleghorn. Well, Richard, just another dominating performance from Dan Kinsman. He took the lead early on in that race. His pace is so good, his cart sounds so nice, and he was so composed in the seat, not even looking around to see where the opposition was. He just had his head down. He knew what he needed to do. He was focused, and he brought it home. Yeah, exactly right, Mike. That was um, an incredible performance. But we can't look too far away from Matthew Kinsman, what an incredible drive. He's got to get the prize for the most carts passed in one day. Oh, undoubtedly, 10th. You know, he started grid four, dropped back to 10th.